Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. I've got the uh, the nightlight sort of done. Uh, see if I can bring that up on the screen here. It is uh, <laughs> it is better than I thought it would be. Let me just show you what it looks like with bright lights on, and then I'm gonna uh, play a recording of of uh, what it looks like with everything shut down. There's all kinds of stuff around it. There's a measuring tape and things from building this thing. And it um, it is really pretty neat. Tell you a little bit about what's inside the box. The only thing inside that box are these things. And these things are rings. And there were concentric rings. And they snap apart. Uh, I just looked into them on where else Amazon. Everything's on Amazon, and they have little uh, little tabs uh, here in about every ninety degrees, and you can snap them apart and then unplug them. So they're in the bottom of the box. Uh, the remaining rings, and there might be five rings. They run on five volts, so I had to cobble up a five volt power supply. And the cord for the power supply runs out the box. The box itself um, uh, has uh, four holes that stick out. It's been pushed down. And they're perfect for uh, rubber feet or bump. They're called bumpers. Uh, the holes are rather big for the bolt. So I use quarter inch bolts and bumpers that would accommodate a quarter inch screw. So they're sticking out the bottom, the metal electrical box, the rings on the inside. The socket uh, took a piece of aluminum, cut a circle with a nibbler, drilled some holes first, and then went around and nibble out the remainder of it. And um, uh, the socket is from Henry Radio, and it has holes around the perimeter. Let's take a look at that. Holes around the perimeter um, that um, you can sort of make out. Uh, there are slots where air would come through to uh, allow cooling of the tube. In the last few minutes, I've added that chimney that you can see, and uh, that turned out to be a great addition the chimney is reflecting some of the light. So I've got uh, a chimney sitting on a Henry Radio socket, and I'll, um, Henry Radio, you just go to Henry Radio's uh, website and order the socket if you want. I think it might have been 25 to $30. These concentric, concentric rings were in the neighborhood of now, there are different ones, but I believe that they're mostly the same. Uh, I think these were less than $30. And again, I'll try to put the link in the comment section. Um, and that's it. So it's a metal box lined with foil. I had some foil tape, so I stuck that around the perimeter to help reflect the light. Uh, the socket, the aluminum plate on top, because the the lid on the box was steel. There's no way I was going to be able to nibble that out. Um, and then, uh, so the socket, the tube, the tube was just put into the socket for uh, support. There's no electrical connection. The tube is not being lit up. There's no voltage going to the tube at all. Uh, the vacuum on the tube is open, so I wouldn't dare try to light it up. And then the chimney I just now got off a shelf. Uh, in the garage and it fits perfectly over that socket from Henry Radio and it helps form a reflection of the light so it's kind of neat. Um, let's see if I can get a different angle on that and uh, I've got uh, a big monitor I can look at and um, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Um, and the thing that paid big dividends was this there is a program uh, that's provided with the socket 
that allows the lights to dance in kind of different ways. And I saw the red color and I thought, well, that's really neat. And then there were some choices where you could have like a yellow dancing around. I say dancing because I don't know how else to describe it, but pulsing around those circles. Um, and you can see it's, uh, it's doing something right now. And so I picked yellow as that other color uh, figuring that that would look good, and it does. So uh, let's dim the lights, take a look at what I shot in place. Okay, that's with the um, lights off. There's still a bright monitor above. Don't know what I can do about that. Um, let's see if I can clear that just a bit. Okay, it made it a little bit darker in here. Um, no adjustment to contrast, no adjustment to the color scheme. Let's um, add a little bit of contrast to that. Just for uh, uh, purposes of the video. All right, there's um, making it really dark. All right, so that's my nightlight fun project. It came out better than I had hoped. I hoped you enjoyed seeing it. Um, it's, um, uh, I'm gonna try tonight in, uh, in the bedroom with the, uh, the lights out and see how bright it is. I think it'll be plenty bright. Um, not a lot of money, fun to do. You could take an old tube of some kind, stick it in a socket. Uh, as long as the socket allows light to go through it, it's probably uh, going to work out. So uh, that socket supports like four 400s, four 125s, four 250s, uh, some other similar tubes. I don't know about 811As. That there may be a way to do that, and uh, I'll investigate that another time. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe. If you have a comment, please do that too. Check the box that says um, liked or dislike, thumbs up or thumbs down, either way. It benefits me, not financially, but it adds to how often this video will be referred to others. So uh, please do all that and subscribe. I'm Jim, W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here in Rockland, California, saying 73. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, enjoying my little uh, uh, nightlight project. See you later. Bye-bye.